I'm thrilled to be sharing this exciting episode as I dive headfirst into the magic of some of my favorite mushroom cooking techniques, featuring the well-loved and easily accessible varieties like white button mushrooms and cremini's. And this one is special because I'm partnering with the Mushroom Council, same folks I partnered with to do the Hot Luck Festival in Austin, Texas when we created that amazing shroom house. But of course, who else would I partner with? To bring you a series of recipes that celebrate the fantastic world of mushrooms. So let's roll up our sleeves and get started. In case I get sidetracked, the full recipe is in the description below and you can find it on the Mushroom Council website. We'll be firing up the grill for a duo of unforgettable grilled mushroom skewers and the succulent and irresistible charm of some smoky seared button mushrooms, all paired with the delicious grilled goodness of a garden-grown barbecued seasoned zucchini I got from a friend of mine, otherwise known as courgette for my UK friends. And all these dishes are a celebration of textures and flavors. We're all about building flavors. These come together beautifully on the grill. We're gonna serve these with some heartiness of a green speckled lentils that I'm doing right now. That's a staple in my house and a true powerhouse, filled with flavor and healthy goodness. Also oil-free if that fixes your fancy. We're infusing them with aromatic spices like cumin, coriander, and smoked paprika. These are a meal unto themselves, so be sure to save this recipe for multiple uses. We're also gonna be making a garlic chili kale. It's the bowl kick that this ensemble needs, and trust me, it's a taste symphony. It's a taste symphony. Yeah, that's it. For these power-packed lentils, like everything else, I like to prepare the mirepoix ahead of time, just getting everything prepped up. And this consists of onions, carrots, celery, and parsley. Since I'm not adding any oil to the lentil dish, we're gonna steam saute it. Before we add any liquid, I like to add all the spices and cook them down a little bit. Then I'm gonna add the rinsed lentils and the water. My ratio for lentils for this dish and a couple other ones that I've done in the past is three to one. One cup of lentils, three cups of water. It tends to come out perfect, the consistency that I'm looking for anyways. Once we get the water in, we'll add some diced potatoes and we'll save that parsley for the end, but I like to have it done now. This, like I said in the beginning, this is a meal into itself, and I want to have this prepped up and ready to go when I get everything on the grill for dinner afterwards. We'll bring those lentils up to a quick boil, stir in them occasionally, and then lower it to a simmer, pop a cover on it, and then we're outside to light the grill. My darling Miss America is the sous chef today. She's enjoying herself, and I'm using a lump wood charcoal, super sustainable. I prefer wood, but I don't have enough. Anyways. Back to this, I have some fresh kale in the garden. This is what I'm gonna be making the garlic chili kale with, picking that early, and all I'm gonna do is take that off the stem, pop it into a bowl, and rinse and clean it. Quick check on the lentils, a little bit of a taste test just to see how much further they got to go. Not too bad, they're doing great. Lower it to a simmer, pop that cover on it, easy peasy. Any dirt, I just tend to brush off. And oh yeah, I set up the new part of my kitchen. I moved my office into the other room. I could have more room to cook and check it out. I love it. And next up are the steaky mushroom skewers. Move the stems, but with a knife, because I want the stem to stay in the cap. You want that part to hold the skewer tightly. Don't remove it, but save the stems because we're gonna use them later. Next step, I'm gonna heat a cast iron pan and we're gonna use the pressing technique. I've shown this several times on several other videos, and this is gonna help A, draw the water out of the mushroom, and B, create an even cooking surface so it's gonna square the edges. Get them, save me. Get him. Now the fire's looking great. I'm gonna let it burn down a little bit so it's not so hot. And meanwhile, back to the mushrooms. These mushrooms are different than the oysters or the lion's mane that I normally press. You have to go a little bit gently. So I tend to just rest the pan on top and it naturally reduces by itself without much pressure at all. If you don't have another cast iron pan, another heavy weighted pan would do just as good. And you saw I add a little bit of water in here to help the steam, help it cook along. It also shows that you don't need to add oil to this stage. Okay, once these are done, we're just gonna remove them, put them on a pan, set them to the side, and we're gonna prep the button mushrooms. By slicing them, this is where I could practice some knife skills, and then I'm just gonna set them aside. The barbecue's looking great. It's almost time to come outside and start the cooking process. 
Now we're going to start on this King Kong size courgette I got from my friend Spicy Mustache who has an amazing YouTube as well. Check him out if you get a second. All I'm going to do is slice this in half and slice it in big enough chunks to grill. Add them to a bowl, toss them with a little bit of oil and the barbecue seasoning. That's the key. Use a good amount of seasonings. Use your favorite barbecue rub, rub these things down and we're going to grill them. Once you're finished tossing the courgette, we're gonna be prepping up the mushrooms. I'm using the same exact bowl. I'm adding some pork seasoning and a little bit of oil, salt and pepper, and we'll get that smoky grilled flavor. Delicious. Now we have everything prepped up. The lentils are done, sitting on the stove for later. We're heading out to the grill. Miss Frankie is already out there. I'm just gonna heat up that cast iron pan. Once it gets hot, add the mushrooms to it. And I almost forgot for extra flavor, I'm adding some soaked applewood smoke chips. And this will add a ton of flavor. Give them a quick few stirs, close the lid, and let that smoke do the magic. We have the lineup for the grill. Everything's waiting to have its proper turn because I have a small grill. I'm gonna season the mushroom skewers and this is a steak seasoning. Again, make sure you use enough. What I find a lot of people do is they don't season their food enough, which makes it bland. That smokiness from the grill, it really does add that extra, extra special touch. Remove mushrooms when you're done and just move on to the next thing. I'm gonna do the skewers next, grill them on both sides, close the lid so the smoke gets to them, adds that extra flavor, be patient. It's a beautiful day out. This is a great time for me. I'm enjoying myself, Frankie's enjoying it, the grill's enjoying it, the mushrooms enjoying it. We're all one big happy mushroom vegetable family over here. Side note, I am always amazed by how freaking tall sunflowers can get. <laughs> now once the skewers are done, just add them back to the pan and add the rest of the zucchini onto the grill. While we're waiting for the zucchini to finish, I'm just gonna go back and forth, bring everything back inside, start setting up for dinner and plating and the meal prep. So we are gonna be doing meal prep, if I didn't say that before, a little special edition. I'm gonna make plenty of meals for the week or at least for the next couple days. <laughs> Miss America enjoying putting her nose into the ground. I have no idea why. Anyways, these are looking magnificent. Beautiful. Look at that charry crust, juicy center, and no, they're gonna be delicious. So I'm gonna remove these, bring them back into the house, and we're gonna set up for the final stage. Before we do the garlic chili kale, I'm gonna make one sheet pan where I'm adding everything to the sheet pan nicely in order, beautiful presentation, and then we're just gonna jump right into the kale. A quick chop peel of the garlic cloves and then I'm adding boiling water to a bowl with the kale in it to blanch it. Just let that sit for a couple minutes, strain it, heat up a cast iron pan, dice parsley for this, toss the mushroom stems into the hot cast iron pan along with the rest of the ingredients, kale, chili flakes, a little bit of oil, touch of salt, pepper, and we're just gonna saute these up. This smells, tastes delicious. If you're not a spicy person, don't add the chili, but I do highly suggest to add some spice to it because it does balance the whole dish. And this cast iron pan has served me well today. I'm gonna deglaze it, add the rest of the liquid to the lentils, warm up the lentils, clean the pan quick. Always clean the pan as I go. This is how you take care of it. Just a quick wipe down, a little bit of oil. Look at this gorgeous beast of a sheet pan plate. Oh my God, I don't even know what to say. I love it when a plan comes together. The lentils are warming up. I'm gonna pop this back into the oven. See, you can grill all this stuff, have it all set and ready to go. So when you do have guests, you just pop it in the oven to reheat it and you have all that grilled, smoky, delicious flavor. These lentils came out perfect. I like to stir through the parsley at the very end so it's not cooked. It's got that freshness. We're gonna plate this up. Couple scoops of the lentils, couple pieces of the zucchini, the courgette, good helping of the kale, some of those sauteed button mushrooms, and the skewers to finish it off. And of course, a little bit of parsley for garnish. I'm super pleased with this. I made plenty. It looks delicious. Let's see how it tastes after we take some photos. 
and it tastes delicious. I love the meatiness of the mushrooms. Each one adds a different flavor and texture to the whole dish, which makes this thing amazing together. I got these four extra meals for any friends that came over or just me for the next couple days. Thanks for watching again, guys. I appreciate you very much. Talk to you soon. Oh, 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 oh,